caffeine fever has gripped enterprising people all over the world ever since two scientists won the 2010 Nobel Prize for synthesizing the material and the describing its wondrous properties. Graphene's qualities include incredible strength, 200 times stronger than steel, flexibility, electroconductivity, its transparent and lightweight form, insulating abilities, and more. Even lay people recognize this scientific development for what it is, a new material that will revolutionize industries, whether electronics, composites, coatings and sensors, or biomedical, automotive, and aerospace. Just as the Stone Age gave way to the Bronze and then Iron Age, our current plastic age is coming to an end as technological breakthroughs herald the age of graphene. Analysts at firms such as Allied Market Research and Beige Market Intelligence make projections that are downright staggering. The global graphene market is expected to garner $149.1 million by 2020, registering a CAGR of 44% during the forecast period 2014 to 2020. The graphene oxide segment is expected to grow at a CAGR of about 20% between 2016 and 2021. Expect the global graphene composites market to reach approximately $89 million U.S. by 2021. In the midst of this idealistic picture, however, lies one major stumbling block. How to create pure, stable graphene in industrial quantities with the properties so prized by researchers? This is far from an idle question as whoever first solves the puzzle of industrial-scale graphene production and holds the patents for its primary applications will control a monopoly in the world's largest nanotechnology market. This is a market whose profit potential surpasses the oil and gas industry. Unsurprisingly, the nanotechnology industry is a beneficiary of state support and investment in many countries. Here at Nanographene, we believe that government agencies are frittering away their money with such investments. After all, the technologically superior method for producing graphene is inexpensive, environmentally friendly, and easily replicated. This method has already been developed, patented, and put into production by nanographene. We have provided samples of our graphene to the foremost institutions in the field for the purposes of quality assessment and all have confirmed that our product is comparable to the best laboratory-derived graphene. Our clients and partners say the same, and have already begun production according to our methods. The addition of graphene radically changes the properties of everyday materials. For example, introducing graphene to aluminum and magnesium renders them stronger than titanium. Graphene not only strengthens plastics, but makes them conduct electricity, even though only around 1% of the base material need be replaced. Trace amounts of graphene, mere hundredths of a percent of total mass, have especially dramatic effects when incorporated into resins, allowing the production of composites that are already crucial in aviation, transportation, construction, and many other industries. After confirming the high quality of our product, we started work on practical applications, ready to use graphene-infused paints, enamels, and varnishes. Employing graphene in this way results in a clearly superior product but not one that requires specialized skills in its users. This approach minimizes the risks involved in introducing a new material into the production of traditional materials. Along with nanographene products, we provide detailed information about their properties, guides to proper usage, and access to round-the-clock product support. We are certain that our technology and our products outpace the competition by any measure. We provide not only the market's purest graphene on any scale, but also the support critical to subsidiaries interested in developing their own applications for graphene. Nanographene, nano changes, macro results.